The toilet has a remote control. She's like, no, no, you shouldn't go anywhere without your passport. Man, what a process. Wow. get to the police station to get our passports registered. So when we got here, we were able to ask our hostess um, about it and she called one of her friends who had had foreigners before um, stay with her and ask about the process. And goodness, it is actually much more difficult than I thought. In a hotel, they'll just like, you know, scan your passports. We've had people take pictures of our passport with their phones. It's been so easy, right? No, here, like, we can't just bring our passports into the police station. We already have to have a copy of them. Our hostess just took our passports and is going to a print shop on her way to work. She has to, like, go to work first, and then she's going to come back and get us, and, like, we're going to go check with the police station because if we don't do it now, by the time she gets off of work, they're already closed. So, goodness. She's like, no, no, you shouldn't go anywhere without your passports because here in Beijing they will really like, randomly stop you, we were told, to ask for your passports, and if you don't have it, it's bad. So <laughs> she's like, no, no, you stay here. I feel like at the airport, they should have been able to do it just because like we're staying in the Beijing area. Plus it seems a little bit redundant because they already have our passport information. I guess it's just to register where you're staying in case they need to find you, but we already put that on um, two documents. When we left um, Hong Kong, they had it, and then when we arrived in Beijing, they have it. And now they need it again. <laughs> all that information that they took at the gate yesterday was also all on our online check-in. We had already completed all that, so. So it's like four times It'd be nice then. if everything would be integrated a little bit more. It's not just here, it's, it's everywhere, but lots of room for improvement. So long story short, what we should have done honestly is just spent the first night at a hotel um, because then you do the registration and then after that, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is just so much extra hassle, not, not that much for us, but for our hostess. And so I feel, um, bad about that, but she is so gracious. We had an amazing breakfast this morning. Her son is awesome. He won a competition last year. It was an English competition and he got second place in all of China for his age group. Uh, he is 12 years old and he is so smart. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm like... Holy cow, your English is really good. And he's like, yeah, I got second place in all of China. I'm like, oh, I'll give you a quick tour too. This is I feel like it's so big compared to what we had just come from in Hong Kong. So you got a nice living area, dining area, two bedrooms, bathroom. Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. The toilet has a remote control. So you can have, so it's like a heated seat. You can change the temperature. Um, you can get a massage afterwards, you can flush it with this. Also, when you stand up, it will automatically flush. Spray yourself and then it will dry, all of that. So, crazy smart toilet here. And then over here, they created a third bedroom for us. And this is where we are staying. And they just went out and bought these curtains for us yesterday. Oh, they're seriously so sweet. Uh, here's a kitchen. and such nice natural lighting. So great. It's not open yet? So unfortunately this one doesn't open until nine. So we have to wait. All right, first one's in line, woohoo. Oh, it's a good number. It's like the DMV. 
All right, so we are officially registered. We were curious to do the process just because there are several countries that you do need to register with the police um, if you're not staying at a hotel. And so this was really the first time that we have gone through this process. Man, what a process. Like, um, it took 25 minutes, and so 15 minutes um, our hostess was with us, but then she had to get to work because she has a meeting because they didn't open till 9, and she thought they opened at 8. She had to have bring her paperwork that she owned the house, how long she's been in the house, and all that stuff. So she had, like, two different documents that she had to show that she was the owner for the house. And that's why we couldn't have done it without her. We just thought we had to show our passports, let them know the address you're staying at, and that was that. But no, you need, you do need the person that you're staying with to be with you. And then they asked our height and weight, which sounds like an easy question, but we had to uh, convert it to centimeters and kilograms because we know our height and weight in feet and in pounds. And so we had to do that. Um, and then they also asked um, if we had any religion. Um, so yeah, so like personal questions here. All that settled, we are good to go now. I mean, the guy was nice about it, but like, he wasn't really like asking that many questions. It just took that long for all the paperwork and typing. And one thing, what did, Peter, what did you say about the keyboard? While we were standing there, I just was looking around and I was like, oh yeah, the typing on this keyboard doesn't have that many keys. I'm just curious, so I like the keyboard. It's normal letters like we're used to. So they have to type the letters for whatever Ryan told us that, is that you can type the normal letters and then it pops up with character suggestions, like Chinese character suggestions. And then you select those to and put you select in the Mandarin that goes stuff. with the, so, ang like the English, not the English word, but like the letter words. So I'm like, they, they really have to be so <coughs> smart because it's not just like you have to know the symbols and write the symbols. Like if you want to type on a computer or text on a phone, you also have to do like actual letters that then translate to symbols. It's crazy. And this morning she's going and get our documents photocopied so she can have them ready to go. But then she hands them to him and she's like, he's like, no, I don't need those. So maybe it depends on what station you go to. I don't know, but um, we didn't we didn't need them. Felt so bad. Like seriously, it took so much time out of her day for her to do that, and it was just so sweet. But again, such a crazy process. I, I feel like they should definitely streamline it so it's a little bit easier. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Um, uh, now that we are officially registered, ready to go, now we're gonna explore. Subscribe if you are not already, and uh, we'll see you in the next video for our day of touring. I was like, whoa, it's actually really nice that it's heated. Just saying. So when we converted my weight to kilograms and Lisa showed it to Hiram, she was just, her reaction was pretty funny. She was just like, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Peter, you're fat. Not really, no, he's just no, tall. Yeah, Peter is like 200 pounds. So her reaction was really funny.